channel make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i am on twitch as well so make sure to give me a follow there all my links are down in the description below whoa what's going on how you doing tonight all right let's just get right into it let's just stop the uh the background music here let's get right into it me again it's time for part two of Alpha 315 Changes Everything. This week, the team is back to talk inventory and finally put all those globals and locals and vehicles and externals and personals into context with one another as they set the table for a truly physicalized universe coming down the line. Healing, we're introducing like the next big step towards Death of a Spaceman. Now we're introducing the first huge leap towards the physicalized inventory. This is really the biggest milestone for inventory in general. The move towards physicalized inventory uh, is really an attempt to make players think and make choices. This is the loop where you have to decide what I take with me is the stuff that I have access to me. And those choices should be reflecting players' gameplay choices, their styles. In the creative manner will mean that you, know, you get emergent roles in the groups, people bringing all the okay. with them. Because this, first and foremost, this this looks fantastic, right? So you got your personal inventory on the top left, right? You got your personal inventory right here. And then you got your armor, your core armor compartment. So I'm assuming if you have legs, you'll have legs and you'll be able to scroll down like your 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 leg armor right and then then the local inventory so i'm assuming so what 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 they're what what they're uh, referring to when it comes to local inventory which they will, they will they will get into that is is more so the local inventory at the landing zone that you're at right at the major landing zone that you're at so it looks like this one is Grimhex. So this is everything the player has at Grimhex. I like the fact that when you hover over it, it'll give you some details about it, which is nice. Um, so this is a mag backpacks. Awesome. So we are getting new backpacks. Looking fantastic. Inventory is going to change everything. Wolf says uh, that's not how it looks in a final build. It's going to be changing. Yeah, I, I assume this will change drastically. Um, because right now it looks it looks very rudimentary, but I I was I assume that the, this will be a lot more smoother and worked out for sure for sure. I I figured a lot of the um the these things will probably be updated to look a lot more streamlined and a lot better than they look. They look they look kind of clunky to me right now, but it's a good start. I like cargo pants and I think a belt to load up yeah um yeah even a belt should have a little compartment i can see that i can see that um i'm liking this i'm liking the fact that you can drag and drop you know just drag off of your body into the inventory and, and drag from the inventory to your body i'm liking this it's actually not the third person at all so that, that's, that's one of the things I wanted to address, right? So when you're in your inventory, when you go into your inventory, is this you standing in real world or is this a representation of you? Do you know what I mean? Like, like because in a sense, what I would like to do is I would like to be able to rotate my character around while I'm in inventory mode to see how I look as um changing equipment and things of that nature but this looks like it's the character standing in world and the ui just shows up on on this on both sides you know what i mean i kind of wish you can rotate them but let's see let's see if we can yeah yeah sfc i completely agree that they will make it look better because the other guys around them have all the ammo that kind of thing so that there are so many different aspects involved in restricting. Yeah, so it is in world. It is in world. Because you can see this so character. There are so many different aspects. 
you see him just walk by so that's 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 a little i don't know it, it's maybe it's just it, it is minor detail but i kind of wish i could rotate my character as i you know change gears right like if i'm putting on a backpack i kind of want to see what the backpack looks like when i'm putting it on you know what i mean i, I want to be able to see how it's going to look with my armor you know what i mean i don't know if it, unless it's just me you know unless it's just me involved in restricting things that encourage communication and you know cooperation that change the way that you play the game and ultimately uh, drastically impact the experience so if you've played star citizen and i hope you have then you'll be familiar with the global inventory you're able to access anything you want at any location you could be carrying you know a whale in your backpack and we don't want that that is being nuked with prejudice so from now on you won't have access to the pma you will still have access to the VMA for all of your ships and your ship items and equipment, but anything related to your character will be in the local inventory. Local inventory is the largest space that you have access to. It's not infinite, but it will be the largest space that you have access to. And that is tied to what you'd imagine the location that you're in. So let's take, for example, Port Alistair. Whilst I'm on the station, I can access Port Alisar and everything that I've stored within the location inventory. Uh, as soon as I leave the station and fly off, I can no longer access that, those uh, items. So when you open up your inventory, you'll be able to just press I or okay, so go through it. The personal one question that I have. So he said Port Alisar, right? Port Alisar isn't a major land zone anymore. It's right now it's the major land zone is Orson. Um, Lorville, um, Art Corp, well, Area 18, and Microtech, New Babbage, right? So, those are the major landing zones. So, does that mean, I assume you could go to any of the other Lagrange points or any other points of interest and store inventory there? For example, I can go to I can go to Lorville. I can go to Alisar and drop items there. I can go to Crew L1 and drop items there. And then I can also go to Arc L2 and drop some items there. And they'll all stay persistent there. I hope it's not just only the major locations. That's that's kind of... But I feel like it, it will be anywhere you go. So, I don't know. Hmm. I think, I think that's how it is going to work, though. I think that's what we're going to And open up your inventory, and you'll see, okay, there's all of the, the, the gear on my character. And then you'll have another kind of window on the other side, which will show all of your local inventory. That's going to make you consider, what am I going to take with me from this location? It's also introducing the concept of, oh, I, I want certain things in these locations, so I now have to move them there. I have to physically go there to put them in those locations. Okay, so... First time we're seeing this in game actually. This is really cool. I like I like the way the medical gun looks like actually. I like the way the medical gun looks. It's really cool. Um so I noticed that there was a slight delay once you drop it in. So I guess it depends on the server performance. Um I guess it depends on the latency between you and the server. Um until when it actually shows up. But I, I just hope that we they really resolve a lot of the server issues, honestly. You know, you know what I mean? Like it's also I, I think it, it could be concerning. So if you're if you're in let's say for example, you're at one of the underground bases and you're in the middle of combat and you let's say you've killed all the NPCs, but you know that there's poss there's a possibility that other players may show up there. And you quickly want to loot. It's I feel like it's a little concerning if you you're dragging and dropping items and the server is taking a while to to update it into your inventory. Yo, in a box, what's going on, bro? You know, you know what I mean. I don't. Know, that's that's kind of one of the things I'm concerned about. So I really hope I really hope that they do fix and resolve 
the server issues that we've been facing for it's it's been like two years or three years or something like that you know um i can see where people will have to buy like three heavy armors and three um lmgs and store them on your different ships if your ship can hold that stuff yeah 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 um sfc that's a good point and this is one of the things that i'm um uh, it's always also been on my mind in regards to this is the fact that so i'm starting to already i'm starting to really um think about if i'm going out on let's say i'm going out to do some exploration i want to find some cool loot um, i'm bringing all the gear i need with me i'm putting it on my ship some extra medical supplies you know extra ammo um an extra piece of armor and stuff like that and a nice backpack you know so that way you know what what i'm gonna bring is i'm gonna make sure that everything is minimal when i'm bringing on my shipping case it blows up and i lose all the stuff in there i'm gonna keep everything minimal on the ship but only the things i need for my my um whatever i'm going to be doing that night right for example and if so as i go out i'm just going to go out find loot um bring everything i need and uh loot put everything in my backpack come back drop everything off and if i need to go back grab another backpack head out grab the stuff bring it back on a ship and then i'm gone you know what i mean yo addis what's going on how you doing tonight so that's kind of how i'm going to be managing this that's kind of how i'm going to be engaging and i'm actually interested in doing this even as if i'm multi-crewing as well as soloing you know i can see i can see myself doing that you know mm. one thing they're doing is to add adding a marker for that hab when you enter the apartment also, there's going to be a marker for your own personal hab now. I got some good news for you on that. Do you own an Argo, an Argo cargo? No, I don't own one. <laughs> I heard Argo was winning it, winning the, the ship showdown. That's, that's hilarious. Oh man. Oh God. Yes. Performance will be a major concern. If the star map is any indication of what to expect. I, I hope. Yeah. I just, I, I completely agree. I hope performance is decent enough that you can quick, quickly, quickly loot. Like let's say if I'm in, a, I'm in the middle of a combat and one of the players that I've downed has some a really, really unique item or cool item. I want to be able to quickly loot that or take that piece of armor or that weapon or whatever that item is quickly and not worry about the server updating it on my character. You know what I mean? I want to quickly grab that and I'm out. You know, I, I don't want to be facing server issues while I'm looting. You know what I mean? It's kind of risky because you also you can also get downed as well. You know what I mean? It's going to be uh, it's going to really make people think and what to take and to have a backup for just in case. Exactly. You know what? Um, SFC, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Um, I personally find it very interesting that I have to now plan right this is what i've been thinking about recently when i when i initially saw this right for 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 those that are concerned about going out solo and the risk um in, in regards to going out solo just just on my flight alone with 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 my ship and avoiding other players if i'm going from alisar to let's say um i don't know let's say to lorville if I'm going to like Crusader to Lorville, right? I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna jump towards. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna take a different route from where most people travel. So, for example, instead of going from straight from Crusader all the way to, um, Hurston, I'm gonna jump. A, I'm gonna jump probably a few th a few thousand kilometers towards um Microtech, stop mid mid jump, and then jump straight to Hurston. That way, I don't end up in that trajectory where people are expecting me to be at you know what i mean so that's kind of a, a way that i'm going to start thinking when i'm going out solo or even with my crew you know what i mean and when it comes to my person 
I'm going to make sure that when I'm leaving out, I have medical supplies. I have enough ammo. I have, um, I have my attachments for my gun on my ship. I have a, a backpack, a big enough backpack. You know what I mean? I'm going to make sure I have everything I need for whatever I'm planning to do. You know, so. And I, I think that's it's really cool. It's really cool because it's definitely changing the way we play the game. You know, it's really interesting. Basically, go there to put them in those locations. Another key aspect of local inventory, uh, which you now set to the very first time that you sign in, uh, is your home location. That home residence has two purposes. One, it becomes your regeneration point, your default regeneration point, whether the hospital or the nearest hospital nearby. And the other thing is that it becomes your default home location for all of your gear, equipment, subscriber flares, vehicles, everything that you own will be deposited at this location. So we've touched on the largest scale inventory that we have, the location inventory. Uh, the next one down um, is a vehicle inventory. And that marries an inventory container with a ship interior. In the same way that you have to be a uh, location in order to access your location inventory, you have to be inside your ship to access your vehicle uh, inventory. Man, like, like I said, right? Like I said, I'm not liking the fact that it's in-world. I'm not liking it. I mean, look at this. This just, this, this, this looks kind of whack to me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I kind of wish it wasn't in world. I think they need to, they need, I think they need to do it in such a way that the same way that it will show you a representation of you and your current armor or your current equipment, the same way it is in your Moby glass is how they should do this. Um, I don't think they should make it in world. I don't think they should make it in world. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. If not, if, if they can't, they should, they, they should do it in such a way where it's like, um, the way escape from Tarkov is doing it. You know what I mean? The way Escape from Tarkov is is doing it is, is you'll have your helmet rep represented right here, body armor, you know, arms, gun, your second attachment for your gun, you know, your backpack. Everything will be represented over here on the left hand side and anything that you can loot will be over here on this side, right? That way you can quickly swap quickly, easy, right? And if you do want to see your character, how your character looks like, there's also another tab you can go to to actually see how your character looks like. I think that would be a little bit better because I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I don't know, man. I guess I have to see it. Let, let's, let's see when I get my hands on it, see how I feel about it. But right now, I don't know about how it's, how it's going to be when it's in world. But we'll see. Larger ships will have more inventory and smaller ships will have less inventory. And this is simulating all of the lockers and all the physical storage that you would have had on those ships. The interface allows you to drag and drop it's from location to vehicle. So you'll be able to move items between locations. The next inventory scale down is external inventory. And that's any inventory container that you attract with that's basically in a box. It can be on a ship, or it can be a crate out in the world, or it can be a loot box, it can be anything. It could even be the corpses that you leave. The hell? When you kill someone, the amount of flesh and bones that they leave behind uh, is something you can interact with and start rummaging around inside. It's an interface that allows you to drag off uh, armor, weapons, etc. So finally, the smallest... Weird. Culture. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I 
let's let's go back here. Uh, weapons, etc. So you can drag and drop the item. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't. I don't know how I feel about it. But we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see. So finally, the. So C says another issue is you will have, you will. Will you have enough room to carry the stuff out that you loot? Yeah, that's true. How many armor and guns can you loot? Like one NPC or two? That's a good question. That's a good question. Um. I assume that there will be different size bags with different size, with different capacities. I assume that, um, yeah, that's a good question. We're going to have to see, I guess we're going to have to see when we get our hands on it though. I hope it's, it's decent enough space in your backpack and your armor and yeah, we're going to have to see that. That's a good question. That's a good point. So finally, the smallest form of inventory is personal inventory. And that's anything that has an inventory container attached to it that you can wear. So whether that's trousers and jacket, there'll be a corresponding UI container for your jacket pockets, for your trouser pockets, etc. Uh, that's... Uh... Mm, Parker, what's going on? Parker, you make a good point. Hopefully we can get carts and trolleys to move stuff. So right now there are carts and trolleys. Um, they did put carts and trolleys, so I wonder if some of these locations will, will have trolleys. Because if you can find a trolley, you just grab all the stuff and put them on, put them on, on the trolley, and then you, you're good. But it will, it will take a while though, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Armor suits, that's core armor. Uh, it's leg armor. And backpacks now are separated from cores, so you can choose which armor you prefer based on the choices that you want, and you'll be able to associate a different All right, backpack. Right, so here, to here's the, the backpacks, right? Here's the backpacks. Let's see. I'm curious to see what this one looks like. Based this, on is, this is the one that we've never seen. What is this? So what is it? It says sinkhole backpack. You can carry fifty nine. 1374 SCU. How much is that in like like what does that mean? I don't even know what what that means in terms of items, you know. Um so it's a medium backpack. So I'm assuming there's a large backpack and there's going to be a small backpack. Carrying capacity So there's a carrying capacity. Oh, this is what it's occupying right now. The 59,000, right? Carrying capacity. I guess they haven't dialed that in. What is SP? It says triple XK SP. And core compatibility, light to medium. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yo, Sneaky, what's going on, boy? Made it to one of the streams. Yes. Here's a question for you. When do you think we will get the caterpillars um lowering doors? Additionally, when do you think we will get detachable command module? Man, um that will probably be a long time. I think that the caterpillars lowering doors is probably gonna be towards the end of like once they've done everything that's um important like right now they, they need to get in server mansion they need to get in um iCash they need to get in some uh, new star systems multiple star systems they need to get in salvaging they need to get in so much other stuff like org stuff they need to get in there's so many different careers i'm not thinking about right now that they also need to get in what are some of the key careers Refining, they need to get in refining, like sh ship refining, out on the field refining, right? 
there's so much things that they need to get in that takes priority over it. So I'm assuming probably when Star Citizen is about to hit beta. <laughs> to be honest, honestly, bro. Oh man. Thanks for thanks for coming out, bro. Um, there are three tiers of backpacks. Yes. You might have to box the stuff up and track to beam them to the elevator to haul them out. SFC, absolutely. That's a good point. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so then it's it is viable to get to loot everything if you have the time. It is viable. So you fill you fill you fill up your backpack, you fill up your armors, your armor compartments, and then everything else you just put them into a box, right? And then we attract the beam, just bring them with you, and you can loot everything, right? Nice, you're waiting for the salvage? Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. I'm really curious to see how that's going to look like. All right, one, let's go. And you'll be able to associate a different backpack to the armor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Light Let me the see the details one, that they have for the rucksack. Because right now, the rucksack is only meant for carrying mining materials. Oh, so the rucksack is a light backpack. And it can hold 52k SP. And it can only go on light armors, okay. Okay. McBright says, new inventory system combined with uh, countless bugs we face currently could be a complete nightmare yeah it could be it could be and you know what i expect it to be a nightmare but i feel like um they need to still get it in so we could we could report the bugs you know i mean this this is this is the time for for for, for them to have bugs the alpha during the alpha stage right so the sooner we get our hands on it the sooner we can report it the sooner they can iron it out you know so i'm not too worried about it i i kind of expect it you know a different backpack to the armor light goes with light medium can have medium and light and heavy can have heavy medium and light i'm liking the fact that they got new so colors for the sets. of inventories uh, different sizes and whatnot that brings us to asking how do you track where everything is how do i know where i've left that bag of uh, ammo that brings us to Knickknacks, which is a new mobile app that we're introducing alongside inventory. You're able to load up Knickknacks, look at it, and at any moment, get a real-time update of all of the items that you have. So you want to know where that P6LR is. And you're like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real-time update of all of the lights. Okay. The items that you have. So you want to know where that. Oh, so that's that's it's no different. It's just a different. It's just a color change. It's the exact same thing. Um, what else? What else? I think I saw. What is what is a klempt? Does anybody know what a klempt is? So you want to know where that P six LR is? And you're like, oh, where did I leave it? Oh, I left it on my ship. That's in Port Olisar. Oh, cool. I I can go and get that. As with many other features that have been released with Star Citizen, there's more to come. Uh, we'll continue to improve it and work on it and uh, flush out additional functionality. There's a lot more things to consider, to remember, uh, and to coordinate over. I think we're moving towards what the game is intending to be. It's very easy as uh, game designers or uh, game developers to focus on individual mechanics and say oh this mechanic does this and this mechanic does this but what my job is and, and what i'm trying to help deliver and you know is to deliver chris roberts vision and that vision is this star citizen oh clement is a drug okay 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 that's good to know experience that yeah i hear that um i guess it will be worth it if it gets us to the important server related upgrade like I cache and server meshing and so on faster. Exactly, exactly. This, like, I feel like this, 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 this patch three fifteen is gonna be one of the patches that's it's gonna be a huge step towards the vision that um Chris Roberts has in, in uh, for Star Citizen. So 
This is going to be fantastic. This is just a suggestion. Maybe uh, we put this in the game and the med play, the medical play, but only have it for a time period, like at the end of the year, take it out and crunch data and get some feedback. Yeah. Um, I feel like if it's too buggy, then yeah. But if it's not too bad, if it's not too buggy, I don't mind them keeping it in, you know? Um, if it's like complete game breaking, yeah, I can see people getting frustrated and, and, um, them iterating it, iterating it through maybe evil Cotty, getting evil Cotty to test it out even before we get our hands on it. And they could even do it that way. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I could see it. I, I, I think they do that with evil Cotty, um, even without us even knowing, you know, I did. They, I think they do. I think they even have Evocati test in Squad of 42 parts, um, you know, as well. And we have no idea that they're testing it, but they are, you know. But yeah. That everybody loves and, and wants to play and, and everybody is working towards. And inventory and healing are, are huge ways of uh, 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 moving towards that goal. And the biggest thing that you'll notice is that they're going to change how you play the game. So what did we learn this week? Yeah. So that's 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 the key words right there that he just said. How it, they're, they're, it's going to change how we play the game. And I couldn't have said it better, right? So with medical gameplay coming in, my new thought and my new approach in terms of how I'm going to play the game is I'm going to make sure I bring everything I need bring extra stuff extra medical supplies extra food extra water um extra magazines um you know i'm also now thinking about the the option or the the, the option to go out and just look for rare loot or interesting loot just go out exploring and see where you can find loot boxes of unique items that you cannot find in stores um thirdly is if i'm going solo and i'm trying to avoid other players i need to strategize on how to avoid the high traffic areas and traverse through um a more finding more stealthier ways to to, to navigate around with my ship whether if if i need to drop down my signature turn off my shields turn off my q drives as i'm traversing whatever right anything to to give myself a low profile as a low player so that I'm not noticed as I'm traversing, you know? So all these things are coming into mind right now because of these new mechanics coming in. And honestly, it's changing the way I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about engaging in the game. You know what I mean? And I think it's really interesting that we get to now think have to, we now have to think about every move that we make because I don't know. I feel like it's it's making the game a lot more, more of a, a simulator than an arcade. I don't know, but those are the words that are that are coming to me right now. That's how I feel, bro. Oh man, all this is starting to be placed uh placed in faster now. And when server machine and iCash uh, SP it will really change the game. Absolutely, I I agree. I agree. SFC, Resin, what's going on? How you doing, bro? How you doing? Man, this B15 is looking good to me. I'm liking it. I'm liking the new changes. I invite it. Um, I think it's gonna change the way we play. And it's gonna be fun, honestly. I think I think we'll enjoy it. I think I think the player base will enjoy it once we embrace it first. Um, I think it'll be a fantastic patch. Yes, I it will be buggy. We will face, we'll probably run into a couple game breaking bugs. But it will be squashed out, and I think uh, the game will be better after. The game will be better in general once it's in. Yo, Beggar, what's going on? I agree. It's good that they are adding both medical gameplay and the downstate and looting at the same time, as each feature makes each other important. Exactly. 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 